Okay, starting off turn number seven with Arjun. So he got immobilized in the last round, so he's a bit limited as to what he can do. But let's take a look at our options here. So he can, he can use Dragon's Breath and attack each monster on this tile, but Alyssa will be able to deal with the spider automatically during her turn. And she is within two squares of an unexplored edge, so if she once she pings the spider, she can just go one, two, and be over here, so she, she will be able to explore. So we don't really need to worry about her and that spider. So and that Dragon's Breath only gets a plus four, so it's, you know... It, now, the zombie only has an 11 AC, so we don't have to roll really high. But it's still much more likely that we're going to hit with uh, Tide of Iron than it would be if we used... Um, if we used Dragon's Breath. And Dragon's Breath seems a bit wasteful. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to use Tide of Iron, so he's going to attack the zombie with a plus eight attack. So we just need to get a three or more. And we got an eight, that's more than enough to take out the zombie. So the zombie goes down. So place the zombie off the uh, off the table. Take its card and put it into our, our growing experience pile here. And let's start updating for Arjun. So he didn't need this, he can't move, uh, but he did attack, he killed. So he does get to draw some treasure. So let's see what kind of treasure Arjun gets. Gets a short rest, flip up one of your unused powers. That's not bad, and I know exactly which one I'm gonna flip up. So let's uh, put this away, and let's, well actually, hmm, do I wanna flip over this one? Or do I wanna flip over this one and get back two HP? I think, let me see, where is he at? He's at four. Um, boy, I would really, really like to have this back. But I think what we need more are those hit points. So he's going to flip this over. Uh, he has to use it at the start of his hero phase, unfortunately, so we can't use it right now. But I'll I flip that up, and we're going to use that next turn. All right, so again, he can't move. He's immobilized. So the end of his hero phase, the immobilization goes away. And obviously he can't explore. So no exploration, no tile, no monster. But we do have that forced encounter. Uh, we did take out the zombie. Yeah, the zombie. So let's see what kind of encounter we get. If it's super terrible, we can cancel it. Deadly Shadows. Whenever the active hero ends his or her turn on a tile that has another hero on it, the active hero takes one damage. Well, uh, yeah, I guess we pretty much have to cancel this because if we if we cancel it, we take one damage and get rid of it. If we don't cancel it, then we're going to take... Well, both of us will take a damage every turn that we're on a tile with another hero. Yeah, let's just go ahead and cancel it. So we cancel the environment. So let's uh, cash out some HP here. So two, four, five. And luckily we have five more, so we can cancel another one. So we cancel that experience, or cancel that environment, rather. But because of the chaos magic, Arjun has to take one hit point of damage. All right, and uh, that is it for Arjun's turn, so it's going to be Alyssa. Her decision's pretty simple, pretty much already talked about it. She's going to ping that spider to take it down, so ding, it's gone. And actually, maybe I'll just make a separate, just because this is already five experience, so maybe I'll just make another pile up here. So spider goes down. And that should be the end of the spiders because we've we've had all three of them now. So until we shuffle, we can't we shouldn't be able to get another one. So she didn't surge, she attacked, she can get treasure, but again, hit points 
or more useful social gain one instead because she still has that treasure item ring of regeneration where you can regain a hit point instead of drawing a treasure so that's what I'm doing there and now she will move and she's slowed so she can only move two places but that's going to be enough because she can go one two so she can go one and honestly all she needs to do is move one because she has scout but we'll go ahead and move her all the way to the unexplored edge her hero phase ends so the slowed goes away she begins her exploration phase with this tile and let me slide all this up so she gets this black tile all right let's update for Alyssa so she did explore she got a black tile so now let's draw a monster for this tile and it's gonna be a zombie so that's the second zombie we've got and I don't mind getting zombies there they seem to me like they're the weakest of them all so she got a zombie and again the slowed war off um, and we have an encounter and the spider's gone and now a zombie all right let's see what kind of encounter we get if it's super terrible we can cancel it Strahd's whispers place the active hero adjacent to the next closest hero the active hero attacks that hero with an at will power well what do we have for our at wills so if we attack with this one it's just gonna hit if we attack with this one we could potentially do two damage if we attack with this one at most it will do one damage and it might miss if you miss the monster which in this case would be the hero we're gonna play this out because there's a chance that she could miss and it won't do anything so you place the active hero adjacent to the next closest hero so that so we place Alyssa adjacent to Arjun and she attacks with an at will power and we get to pick so we're gonna pick this at will power because it has a chance of missing and if it does if it hits it does one damage whereas if we use this one it's guaranteed to do one damage and if we and if we oh if we miss and the hero is more than one tile away from you place it one tile so so this this extra flavor or this extra thing doesn't do anything so it's just gonna be a plus six attack and let's hope we miss in this case Watch, this will be the one time we roll a 20. So it's a 6. So 6 plus, how much was it? 6, 12. So 6 plus 6 is 12. Arjun's AC is 17. So that's going to be a miss. So sometimes the events aren't super terrible. Alright, so we played out that encounter. Now the zombie is going to activate. And since we ended up moving our hero, the zombie is not going to do anything. It's just going to move one tile closer. So it's going to move bone pile to bone pile. And that's going to be the end of turn number seven.